Hi guys, Dylan here. I thought I'd give a quick look at the Nolamprologus Brashadi in their new tank. And they're just doing so awesome. They weren't out when I debuted it in my little uh, tank tour today video. So I thought I'd, you know, come back and give you a look at these guys because they're awesome. I wish he would turn. He seems very interested in me. <laughs> and this little tiny one is doing so much better in this tank than she ever did in the in the 20 tall. It seems ever since I, you know, decided to create this tank, I pretty much knew that these fish were going to be coming in here and it's almost a no-brainer I mean these are some of the coolest fish I have in my uh, fish room so definitely wanted to make sure they had a, a, a cool habitat and a larger tank to grow in up into because um, you know these fish can get five inches easily but doing a lot better now a lot more active than they were in that other video I tried to show off this tank and I can pan the t scan the tank real quick a lot of shells in here a lot of hiding places for them I have that slate kind of built up there with rocks um, kind of piled on it which creates a big hole for them underneath and you know they can get in pretty much every shell there's not really any small shells they can't get into so uh, it just creates a lot of holes for them a lot of hiding places and this is only day two of them being in here, and uh, they're fairly well acclimated. Like I said, this little guy is doing so much better than she ever did. She's just exploring this tank and feeding a lot better, too. Um, you know, she would hide every time there was a feeding and, you know, really let this guy pig out. And then I would see her afterwards kind of picking for scraps off the substrate. And uh, I now I see her pretty much doing both. Um, going after food in the water column and uh, you know kind of looking for anything any debris that's down here on the bottom of the substrate but look at this guy majestic majestic that's the word my goodness love to grow him up see how they do and if this indeed is a pair and if I can get you know a colony of these you know Nilamprologus brashadis to, to grow in here I mean that would be ideal for me that's exactly how I would love to keep this tank it's just a mama and popper and uh, let them raise up some fry in this tank that would be really cool I'm just gonna concentrate on uh, you know getting this tank really cycled and growing out these fish still tiny guy you know I've had him for almost six months and yet yeah, still tiny little fish but we'll get him grown up like I said, now that they're in a larger tank, it's going to be so much uh, easier and, and, and funner to get them, uh, you know, larger. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to uh, say there's the little quick brashadi update. I can hear my beige and she's getting loud already, so I don't want her interrupting this video with her uh, constant wailing. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys updated on this tank, absolutely. I mean, this is becoming very quickly my favorite tank. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how well these fish uh, turn out. Again, day two. You know, day two of this new Nilamprologus Brashadi tank. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for all my new subs. Check them out. Stay tuned. Because uh, I'm going to keep bringing you the fish video and let you know... Uh, exactly how I care for these guys and um, let you know how they do as far as their growth and uh, behavior but thanks guys it seems I want to film this fish all night I do gotta call it a cut very soon but uh, you guys have a good one peace